Do you feel like you have any sort of responsibility for their actions? Hi, really simple question. Will you condemn Antifa for attacking an ICE facility? It's very simple. Will you tell Americans not to attack violently ICE facilities? Just say no. It would be a very simple thing to say, and it would go a long way to tell Americans that you're not sympathetic to Antifa. Are you sympathetic to Antifa? Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to walk over here. Why, why is it a hard thing for you to say? Are they your base? Are you worried that they're Excuse not going to vote for you? Can you stop? Are you ashamed at all? I mean, Please, this sir? this is a pretty simple answer. Excuse me, sir. I, I know, I know. In too far and I need this to is a really you. simple so answer. This would be great if you could just back up. Do you condemn Antifa? What I'm condemning is a lack of journalistic integrity. You're not respecting my physical space right now. And I'm going to ask you to step away. And, and Antifa you. didn't respect the integrity of that building. You can give me a card and we can so you're not going to condemn them? This isn't a, a journalistic ethics thing. I'm asking questions that CNN won't. Will you condemn Antifa? Sir, asking one more time to please scoot over. Why are you scared to answer the question? You are into personal space, sir, and I'm asking you to move. Sir? Sir? Please? Do you feel responsible for the violent attack against a nice facility? Kind of, it kind of blew up in your face when you didn't respond about your brother. It made it look like you married him. You can finish that question now if you've come up with an answer. Did you marry your brother? For what happened? We can go in the... Mrs. Cortez. Do you feel responsible at all? Will you tell Americans not to be violent anymore? Antifa to be uh, to be exact. Should Antifa stop being violent? Okay, we'll close the door. Omar more in particular, but to all of you, can you respond to some of the president's specific claims, most notably that you're a communist and that you're pro-Al-Qaeda? We are no longer going to allow uh, the dignification of such ridiculous, ridiculous statement. I think that was interesting in the class was every time the, the, the professor said Al-Qaeda, he sort of like his shoulders went up and you know. Yeah, he's in command like, here. Al-Qaeda, you know. He's an Al expert. <laughs> um, I remember um, when I was in college, I took uh, a terrorism class. And is that a substance? Yeah, there was. So there you was, go. At, there is a lab for that. There was. A, there was a class that you. Do you go to lab? Eh? No, you go we, our we, field we, trip we learned and, the, and the ideology of. I'm glad um, you do that. <laughs> and so it was. It was the, the thing that was interesting in the class was every time the the, the professor said Al Qaeda, he sort of like his shoulders <laughs> went up and you know. Yeah, he's in command like, here. Al Qaeda, you know. He's an Al expert. <laughs> And it was, you know, as What's his it, name? As, what are putting his oh, name we on there? We, we what are does not he know? Yeah. You, you probably get to see him on, on CNN. Well, yeah, of course. I love those guys. But, you know, but, but, but it, is, it is that you don't say America with an yeah. intensity. You don't say England with an intensity. You know, you don't, you don't say um, the army with an intensity. God. <laughs> but you say these, these names because you, you want that, that word to carry weight. Want it to leave something. It, it has a cultural meaning. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, you know, it's said with a deeper voice. So.
You're a fucking oh bitch! You're Wait, a fucking stupid ass, privileged ass bitch! Get the fuck out of here now! You're a cockroach now. Fuck the troops. You like the bread and there, 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 you like the bread and there